OK, this is the first part in the series of tutorials on making the UFO animation. First of all, I'm going to select the Oval tool um, and I'm going to use it to draw my UFO. I'm going to change the fill colour over here to a grey and make sure there's no stroke colour selected there. OK, and this is going to be the main body of the UFO, drawn just like that. Now I'm going to draw another oval. In fact, it's going to be a circle this time, so I'm going to hold down Shift whilst dragging, and it will make um, a perfect circle. I want to change the colour of it, so using the selection tool, I'm going to select that, and then pick a slightly darker colour, like so. Now I want to cut this in half, so again, using the selection tool, the black arrow, I'm going to select the bottom half of this circle, and then press Delete on my keyboard, and that cuts the circle into two uh, in half. Um, next I want to move my pointer very close to this line and you'll see that the cursor changes to a little curved line and that allows me to curve this shape. So I just want to drag that down just a little bit like so and then I'm going to take this part and add it to the body of the UFO. Okay so that's the whole UFO object created. I now, now need to convert this to a symbol so I'm going to select the whole thing, like so, and I can either right-click and choose Convert to Symbol, or with it selected, I can uh, choose Modify and then Convert to Symbol from there. OK, so this little box appears. I'm going to make sure I've got it set to be a movie clip, and I'm going to give it a name, which will be UFO. And you'll see that this blue box now appears around the object, indicating that it's been converted to a symbol. OK, so we're going to start animating this very soon. So I'm going to place it in its uh, starting position, which is down here in the bottom left, just off the stage. And before I animate it, I'm going to change the name of this layer. So this is layer 1. I'm going to double-click the name and just change that to UFO. OK, so the first position of the animation is here. I want the UFO to fly to the middle of the screen, pause for about a second, and then fly in a curved motion down towards the Earth. I'm going to put the Earth in later. OK, so I'm going to right-click on frame number one of the UFO layer and choose Create Motion Tween, and it automatically inserts 24 frames of animation. That's one second long. So I'm going to make the UFO fly to this position on the screen here, then I want it to pause for about one second, so I'm going to go to frame number 50 and I'm going to insert a keyframe, like so, and then I'm going to insert another keyframe about one second later at frame number 75. Okay, at frame number 75, the UFO will have moved up to this position, but it will also have gotten smaller because it's flying away from us. So I'm going to use the free transform tool here. And by holding down shift and dragging these little handles, I can resize the UFO so it looks as though it's getting smaller and going away into the distance. OK, back on the selection tool. And I don't want the UFO to fly in this kind of rigid form like, like this here. So what I'm going to do is move my pointer close to this line here, which indicates the path of movement, and I'm going to curve it out just like so. And by scrubbing along the timeline, we'll get an idea of what happens. So for one second, the UFO flies in, then it pauses for a moment, and then flies off into the distance, like so. And then for the final part, I'm going to insert a new layer, make sure it's dragged down to the bottom. I'm going to rename this to Earth, and then I'm going to import the picture that we're going to use as a background. So file and import, import to stage. We're going to find the file called Earth. Just takes a moment to do this. OK, so I've already downloaded the image and saved it in this folder here. So this is just a JPEG image, and it's imported and placed in the background there. So that's pretty much our animation, our first section of this animation complete. Um, I just want to make sure that the Earth is positioned correctly, so I'm going to move it up just a little bit like so, and then I can test my movie by choosing Control, Test Movie, in Flash Professional.